Hello, a Saturday wrap at 10 to 6 on a Saturday morning. And it's still hot and a bit steamy. Anyway, if you haven't seen this before, this is the Saturday wrap for the 9th of July 2022. A look back on my week, including beards. I'll refer to that later. Um, politics, tech, and things. Okay, um, so here in the lovely Lower Rumley Valley, South Wales, summer has arrived. Okay, we don't deal with summer very well. Um, yesterday, there were issues on the Rumley Valley line um, because it was 26 degrees Celsius. Okay, 28 is 82, so high 70s if you're in old money. Yeah, we don't do weather at all. So, um, may you live in interesting times. Okay, so the 2020s, starting in February 2020 with Storm Dennis, they have been interesting times. Not the nicest of times all the time, but interesting. And this week, this week there was politics. And uh, Larry the Cat going after pigeons. Yeah, lots of Larry the Cat memes going around at the moment. Anyway, as I said, trying to get back onto subject. Beer of the week. This is the Hop Foundry. This is um, the own brand from uh, Aldi in a glass. 4% alcohol by volume. Tropical. Um, it's a little bit sweet. It's a little bit metallic, actually. Um, bitter, um, fruity, tropical, a little bit of each. And then there's a long, bitter finish that lingers on the back of your throat. B plus. Um, it's unbalanced. It's not unpleasant, but, you know, don't go out your way looking for it, he says, scratching his nose. Um, right, okay, so on with it then. What have we got to start? Of the word or phrase of the week. Them's the breaks. I heard this on um, Thursday, Thursday lunchtime, streaming it onto my iPad Touch version 7, soon to be completely obsoleted, which I use an MP3 player, and now have put that um, baking soda on. That's the app, not the actual thing. They weren't the brakes. <laughs> um, whatever people say about uh, leaders, Here's the thing, they have to be leaders. They have to lead by example. They have to tell the truth. And that's the thing, them's the breaks. Hmm, anyway, there you go. Um, app of the week isn't really an app. It's more of a function that are in lots of apps, tab groups. The ability to group tabs in a web browser, name them, close them down, bring them back, swap between them and such like. I'm using them in Edge, um, Safari on the Mac. Um, I think Firefox does them. I think practically everyone does them, to be honest. They are useful. And I wonder why it's taken me such a long time to start using them. Could be age, who knows? Anyway, um, thing of the week, politics. Very political week. Very, I'll come back to this. Very, very political week. Things going on. Um, the UK is, they usually call this period, well, nearly the silly season because there's not much going on. There is tons going on, including the Benny Hill theme. Good Lord. Hmm. Anyway, so what happened during the last week? Saturday, um, Megan from Bradby Tutlog. The video is now up. Uh, YouTube, where you find this. WordPress, where you find this. MeWe, where you find this. Twitter and Facebook, where you find this. She's going to go far. I'd like to see a brew as well. Uh, her art is rather good. Um, actually, Bradby Tutlog. I'm, I'm hoping, I think she did mention, that there will be another LOL Fest in August. 
the way things are at the moment, what with petrol and the cost of staying places and such like, I won't be getting away much. So another lol fest will do it for me. Yes, please. Okay, Sunday. I um, planted more um, tomatoes, and I'm not actually sure whether I planted cucumbers or peppers because um, they all look the same when they're small. Um, and I did that more in the week as well. And I'll probably do a little bit more tomorrow. We are definitely behind, although some of the tomatoes are actually off to go. And I mean, with this weather, it's supposed to be 25, 26 today, maybe. And I'll be out watering early. Um, so they should just take off, he says, hopefully. Hmm, odd year, really odd year. Um, Tuesday night. Tuesday night at six o'clock, I thought I'd have a bath. A quarter an hour later, I got out of the bath and Salvid, Javid and Rishi Sunak had both resigned. And I thought, Boris is going to be gone by the morning. And what with Durham police and such like and Beergate, um, and maybe Sakia Starmer. Anyway, in the morning, they were both still there. But there were resignations all over the place. Um, but in tech news, the dates of the release of the M2 MacBook Air were confirmed. Um, purchase pre-order more like, on um, Friday the 8th, um, pick them up on the 17th, 15th, I don't know, the Friday after it, um, yeah, and then all, everyone and his dog started to resign, but still, um, the Prime Minister decided to stay on, and he was in front of, the, I can't remember the committee, it was sort of a multi-part committee, um, but that was a bit strange. And then more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And Wednesday, well, no, Thursday. Thursday morning, there were more resigning. In fact, apart from a couple of big ones, practically everyone resigned. And then at lunchtime, he resigned, sort of. But he's still there. <laughs> um, as caretaker prime minister, um, no, I don't think that works. Um, and he still doesn't realise why. Uh, it was ever thus with politicians, he says, moaning on about things, really. Okay, so, um, Friday. Um, Friday, I have a USB fan in my bedroom. It was going like the wind. Um, I was moving money around desperately because... Um, Friday's the day of the M2 MacBook Air Day, because um, that's going to clear out my bank account, really. Uh, here's the thing, um, I have to have, this is, oh, this is under Windows, by the way, um, an i7. Um, my MacBook Air, no, my MacBook Pro 2016, bought early 2017, 8 gigs, 256 gigs hard disk. You pay the Apple tax. But here's the thing, they last, and you really need 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. And that's what I did. I had that all ready with Midnight Blue and a trade-in, which was only 160 quid. Yeah, but there you go. And a dual 32 watt charger, all saved, all ready to go. Hmm. Okay, Friday morning, um, my Android phone. Oh, limited functionality because you haven't paid your bill. Here's the thing, it's on Tesco's. I had a thing from Tesco's, because I got a Tesco's credit card, saying, we're gonna replace your card. Okay, um, I haven't had any issues with it, but you know, security. Apple Pay automatically updates. Now, you have a Tesco's card linked to a Tesco's account and they don't automatically update. Um, and when I had the new card, it said it's all ready to go. But um, when I tried to add it to the account, it didn't recognize it. So yesterday lunchtime, into spoons for the lunch, uh, stick it in the card reader, put the pin in. That usually works with them, but hmm, not the best of experiences. Anyway, I paid the bill on another card. Everything's fine now. 
tickety-boo, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but when cards go bad, there's all sorts of issues. Kind of my own fault, but I took off Tesco's as well. Oh, and baked beans. Um, they took them off their shelves because uh, Kraft Heinz wanted more money and such like, and Tesco's are selling them cheaper than anywhere else. I have to be honest, Heinz baked beans? They're supposed to be the best. They do them in spoons. I don't think they're the best. Actually, most own brand ones, I'm mean, having Aldi at the moment, much better. I think the best ones are Branston, but they are more premium. But Mm. And I won't be buying Heinz again because they're more interested in price than quality. And the quality has tailed off over the years, you know. And it was hot on Friday and it was shorts into work. Uh, it's shorts at the moment and I'm going to be knowing to Newport. I'm going to try the public space. Apparently craft beer cans like the wind. Um, it was hot and sticky and... Um, all sorts mind you in spoons the boneless chicken basket with coleslaw and barbecue sauce and chips that could be a winner i have to be honest it was really good um i did purchase well pre-order uh, midnight blue 16 gigabyte 512 gigabyte uh, 32 watt dual charger here's the thing unless you get the base model which is eight and five two five six is coming sometime between the first and the eighth of august but it is ordered it is on its way it is an m1 i have lots of ideas and there is software that says basically we're concentrating on the m series apple silicon which is i suppose the right thing to do I'm looking forward to it. This could make me an early adopter of the M2. I'm a bit sad, really. Anyway, um, I think that's it for this week. Um, there will be bits and pieces and watering, and hopefully the buses are running, although that's not been the best of things in the previous weeks. And then Newport. So, um, if you've got any comments, and uh, if you're in Bugley, um, I'll stick them on YouTube or wherever you see this video. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I believe cheers. Ooh, Altenar. Is it Altenar?